As a photographer, I didn't want to just be about the technicalities. I, I wanted to bring the art element into it. And I found that doing it underwater transformed it into being just a, a whole different feeling. 2015 Raw National Photographer of the Year, Beth Mitchell has captured the imagination of the art and fashion worlds alike. At just 25, her work has been featured in a number of revered publications, including Vogue Italia, Mustache Magazine and Fashion TV International. In an exclusive interview, I sat down with Beth to discuss her work. So tell us about when you first picked up a camera. Well, I started shooting when I was quite young. I started in film. Um, so I was probably playing around around the age of 12, maybe. Uh, but then when I was about 15 was when I first discovered underwater. And um, I just went from there. A lot of the work is actually in the preparation, like what is possible underwater and uh, how do I make that happen? And that is a process of testing and just you know, seeing what you can do. But I do, yeah, I hand, I hand make the props and then there's the casting element. And then I um, work obviously with uh, fashion designers and makeup artists and hair designers as well, and models, which is very important. Casting of the talent is very important. My work does not simply rely on Photoshop and all the props that you see are in the pool. So there may be some overlay of photographs because you do have one prop shifting or, uh, you know, sometimes I can even adjust hair if it's across there or something like that. So it's all about really little details. But if something is out of place, you'll know. When I was first fascinated with doing photography underwater, I remember at the time there was a lady in the Bahamas, her name was Elena, and she was shooting her sister and her, I think her child underwater. And at that point, I think underwater was, it just wasn't common. So she was a really big inspiration in, wow, it's possible. Um, and it's a bit quirky, it's a bit different. I had an interest in fashion as well. So that's why those two elements combined for me. So your work really marries fine art and photography, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. I find that for me, it wasn't enough just to be a commercial photographer. Um, and whilst I have respect, totally respect and ad admire many commercial photographers, I, I found that there was a part of me that was also an artist. Um, and my medium is photography, but that doesn't necessarily just mean that it's about snapping. Uh, there's a process to it that I've spoken a little bit about and it's about the prep work and it's about the vision. It's not about turning up to a place and shooting what's there, it's about creating that place that you're going to shoot, which is what my work is and that is the art and then you're putting it underwater. So I wanted to do fine art photography and that's what I, I really do foresee. My career will be fine art photography. Tell us about breaking into the world of fine arts when you don't really use a traditional medium. It's been really tough and I think I didn't even fully realise how tough it was when I first started. But I found that when I've been in galleries, I've been one of the few or if not the only photographer in there. I think Australia is a little bit slow when it comes to accepting photography in a traditional art realm and I'm hoping that over the next few years Australia really catches up with recognising photography just equal to other fine artists. For me doing say the Imaginarium series that struck something in me where I was so excited about what it was and people relate to stories that are fairy tales that they did know when they were kids and some of my artwork you'll see it's got a bit of a darker edge but it still has that romanticism in it. And then some of the works are really bright and colourful and that diversity is good but it still fits in a style that I've created for myself and it gives me a lot of areas to move, area to move when I can do both but it can still look like Beth Mitchell. <laughs>